Hello, God bless from Up Ministries. I'm coming to you today to read you Ezekiel chapter 25. I prayed and I asked God to help me to speak with you today before I started this video. And I suggest that any time you place yourself in God's word that you pray also and ask him for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. I do. So uh, he's going to give them to you because he doesn't want to keep us in the dark concerning his word. I shorten the intro, save time, more word. Amen? Okay. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face toward the sons of Ammon, and prophesy against them. And say to the sons of Ammon, Hear the word of the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, sorry, because you said, Aha, against my sanctuary, when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel, when it was made desolate, and against the house of Judah, when they went into exile. Therefore, behold, I am going to give you to the sons of the east for a possession. And they will set their encampments among you and make their dwellings among you. They will eat your fruit and drink your milk. I will make Rabbah a pasture for camels and the sons of Oman a resting place for flocks. Thus you will know that I am the Lord. For thus says the Lord God, because you have clapped your hands and stamped your feet and rejoiced with all the scorn of your soul against the land of Israel. Therefore, behold, I have stretched out my hand against you and I will give you for spoil to the nations. And I will cut you off from the peoples and make you perish from the lands. I will destroy you. Thus you will know that I am the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, because Moab and Seir say, uh, Behold, the house of Judah is like the nations. Therefore, behold, I am going to deprive the flank of Moab of its cities, of its cities which are on its frontiers, the glory of the land, Beth Jeshemoth and Baal Meon and Kiriathim, and I will give it for a possession along with the sons of Ammon to the sons of the east, so that the sons of Ammon will not be remembered among the nations. Thus I will execute judgment on Moab, and they will know that I am the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, because Edom has acted against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and has incurred grievous guilt and avenge themselves upon them. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand against Edom and cut off man and beast from it, and I will lay it waste from Taman even to Dedan. They will fall by the sword. I will lay my vengeance on Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Therefore, they will act in Edom according to my anger and according to my wrath. Thus, they will know my vengeance, declares the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, because the Philistines have acted in revenge and have taken vengeance with scorn of soul to destroy with everlasting enmity. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, behold, I will stretch out my hand against the Philistines, even cut off the Kirithites, destroy the remnant of the seacoast. I will execute great vengeance on them with wrathful rebukes, and they will know that I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance on them. And that is Ezekiel 25. Thanks for listening and God bless.